What's up guys and welcome to the video. So today I have a U7 Freezer deck profile for you. This is the feature deck from the meta report this week. And uh, so this was the champion at Liverpool uh, where they had a special tournament. It was 17 players. So that's quite big uh, for the UK, although not the largest we've had. Um, and I think we will be having more large scale tournaments uh, in Tournament of Power format actually. Uh, but for the first week, uh, 17 players, very, very solid indeed. And this is the deck. So the leader is Freezer, and on the flip side, Golden Freezer, the final assailant. If you don't know what it does, uh, quickly run through it. It has Warrior of Universe 7, so all U7 uh, costs uh, have no specified cost. Uh, on the first side, activate main once per turn, place one U7 from hand to drop and draw two cards. When you awaken, you untap two. And on the awaken side, uh, place one U7 from your hand to drop and draw two cards. Then choose one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. So into the actual deck, we have four Backbone Sun Goku, that's a super combo, four Ready to Fight Sun Goku, four Focus Mind Piccolo, two Focus Mind Sun Gohan, three Goku Hope of Universe 7, one Sun Goku the Awakened Power, that's the uh, Secret Rare, the Victory Strike one, four Master Roshi, two Agony of Hell Freezer, four Cold Hearted Strike Freezer, four Full Power Spirit Bomb Sun Goku, 3 Freezer Emperor of Universe 7, 2 Marseillean the Mysterious Warrior, 4 Objection, 2 Crusher Ball, 3 Nimbus, and 4 Universe 7 Representative. In the side deck, we have 2 Yajirobe, 2 Mafuba, 2 Bagamo, 2 Beerus, that's the U7 one, 2 King Vegeta's Surprise Attack, 2 Bad Ring Laser, 1 Crusher Ball, and 2 Haru Haru. So I asked Jason, uh, the person who played this deck, a few questions and these are his responses. As to why he chose this leader, uh, he said that he liked it because you don't need to interact with the game state in order to generate a plus. So you don't need to attack to draw. Uh, so unlike uh, some leaders who attack uh, on, on the front side, they attack leaders and draw one card and most leaders on the seconds, on the awakened side, uh, you attack and draw. With Freezer, you don't need to. Uh, so you just discard a U7 card and you get a plus from that. The added benefit is that you load up your drop uh, for Marseillean, which he plays two of. And also being Warrior of Universe 7, you have a wide variety of cards to choose from. Uh, also on the Awakened side, um, you can rest your opponent's cards. So this is very useful uh, for resting blockers so that your Victory Strike Goku, which is one of your win cons, uh, to, so that it can go through easier. So the ratios were chosen based on energy requirements and consistency and also matchups as well. Uh, for example, there's a lot of blue energy in this build to make sure he had enough for objection and also a lot of yellow as well to make sure the Crusher Balls and the Nimbuses are live. Uh, the Piccolo is at 4 and that was mainly for the mirror match as it stops Goku and has a barrier to stop the leader resting it as well. The 4 objection are in there to get a turn 4 win condition so uh, you can play uh, objection in your turn 2 and by your turn 4 you have 5 energy, you can play the 5 drop Goku, uh, untap 1 and then go for the victory strike. The second win condition is the Universe 7 Freezer, which a lot of decks struggle with. Uh, so for decks that awaken slowly or struggle to self-awaken, you would play the Goku for the win. And for decks who awaken very quickly, you would play the Freezer so that you basically shut them out of uh, their abilities. The deck isn't really about combos, but uh, more building towards your big plays, so your Goku and your Freezer. So in turn one, you would play your one drops for consistency. You have the Goku to search, you have the U7 representative as well. And then you play objection in turn two. Or if you don't have the objection in hand, then play more one drops uh, to get your consistency tech thin and then just work towards your big play. In terms of matchups on the day, his first round was against uh, Pan. 
Uh, his opponent couldn't self weapon fast enough, so victory strike uh, basically just sealed the game for him there. In the second round, he lost 2 1 in a mirror match. So, this was basically whoever had more objections, whoever could ramp more uh, and get to the win condition first would win the game. In the third round, he played SS3 Boo. Um, so uh, he was a bit surprised by this, it was more difficult than he thought it would be. Um, having a triple strike 60k uh, turn 4 to 5 uh, took him by surprise and so he dropped the first game. But in games 2 and 3, Frieza and Goku got him through. And in the next round he also played SS3 Boo again. But as he already uh, had experience with it the previous round, he was able to play around the deck and so was able to take a 2-0 victory. In the top 4 cut, he played the mirror again and this time he won 2-0 because he out-objectioned his opponent and also he had crushable for the Goku whereas his opponent did not. Uh, in the finals, he played against Ginyu Veggies and he knew this was a tough matchup for him, which is why he mained the Marseille in the deck in the first place. Uh, but he managed to drop the uh, Universe 7 Freezer and his opponent had a hard time playing around it. Uh, Ginyu Veggies was one of the few decks that he was worried about, uh, along with the Mirror, but uh, the main deck precautions in there, namely Piccolo and Marseille. Uh, meant that uh, he would have a slightly easier matchup against them because he had prepared for it. Uh, there isn't a lot that he would change about the deck until set 4 is legal as it did run smoothly in most cases and his only loss on the day was the mirror match in Swiss uh, but he won in top cut anyway. So that was the deck profile, thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did please leave a like on the video and if you have any questions for Jason, then please uh, drop a comment below and I will try and get some answers for you. I have also started an Instagram where I'll be posting uh, sneak peeks of what future content I have planned, as well as some maybe some behind the scenes stuff or um, if you want to just get to see snippets of my life, like when I have a nice lunch or something, then yeah, check that out. I'm also working with some guys on giveaways and I think that we mostly Instagram based although I will be announcing them on the YouTube videos as well. So that is the video guys, thank you again for watching, uh, please remember to sub for more content and I will see you guys next time.